So I want to hit you with a few example problems of what I've just talked about. All right, let's start with the first one. Say I want you to name the coordinates on this right here, okay? Number one. I want to name the coordinates on here. I would look at it. We've got negative one. This is just like a weird bracket that makes you put stuff in. We've got a coordinate at one. And then this is about halfway between two and three going this way, so therefore it's 2.5. That'd be what you do. Second example. Let's say I wanted you to graph these numbers, negative 4, 2, and 3.7. Okay, so I need to make sure I go back far enough to include negative 4. So I would put a graph there. 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I've got my negative 4, check. Put it right there on negative 4. 2, check. And then 3.7. I want to go counting up, 1, 2, 3, and I know 0.7 is going to be a little bit over halfway, so that's my 3.7. You're good. Check. All right, last thing I want to go over is absolute value. Remember, absolute value means it kills the negative after what's in there is done, okay? Negative 2 turns into positive 2. 18. Is there any negative in there? Yeah, no. So it just stays 18. It doesn't flip it. It just takes away the negative if it's there. And think of it as like security gates. Like when you go into the airport and they're like, oh, you can't have any metal and you've got some fingernail clippers in your pocket. What those security gates do when you walk in between them Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.